in my last skate 3 video, I said if we could get 10,000 likes, that I would bring back the orange pants of Sexy Zex Skater for one video only. Well, you guys absolutely crushed it. We got well over 10,000 likes, so say goodbye to the red pants and say hello once again to the orange pants. Let's go. Oh my gosh, the nostalgia is real. Hey, what's up, guys? Zach here. Welcome back to another video. So today, as you guys can see, we are back on Skate 3. Now, the orange pants may not mean much to a lot of you guys, but for those of you who watched my videos like six or seven years ago, you would know that I used these orange pants in all of my first Skate 3 videos. So these bring back a lot of memories. And honestly, I feel like I just skate better in the orange pants for some reason. That's going to help us a lot because we have some pretty crazy challenges to get to today. We have a crazy backflip coffin thread the needle challenge, a crazy speed glitch super bounce into a grind, and even a brand new trick that I've literally never seen before in Skate 3. I don't even know how it's possible. All of that and more in a brand new episode of Epic Skate 3 Challenges. Now guys, I'm gonna be honest, these challenges are going to be pretty tough, but you just gotta let me cook. And I know a thing or two about cooking, which is why I'm very excited to say that this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Now HelloFresh delivers pre-portioned ingredients and easy to prepare recipes right to your door, taking all of the hassle out of cooking. Estelle and I have been using HelloFresh for months and we love it. Today we decided to make these prosciutto fig and mozzarella sandwiches. These are some of our favorites because they only take 15 minutes to make, so they're perfect for lunch. And look, there's no worries if you're not a pro in the kitchen. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. But HelloFresh's foolproof recipies arrive pre-portioned and easy to prepare in just a few steps. And we like to switch it up, which is great because HelloFresh has over 40 recipes and over 100 seasonal and convenient items to choose from each week. With so much variety, there are options for everyone and every lifestyle. Look at the way this thing turned out. I was very excited about it. And of course, it was delicious because I made it. So use my link or go to HelloFresh Dot com and use my code pogzekmay 16 and you'll get 16 free meals plus free shipping. So once again, big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video, and let's get back into it. All right, guys, our first challenge today comes from interestingdonut277 on my subreddit. Let's watch this clip. He's at the campus entrance, does a speed glitch, oh, bounces off the glass dome, flies through the air, and oh, somehow lands on a grind all the way across the bridge and rides away. Wow, that is an awesome challenge, and I think that's a perfect way to welcome back the orange pants. All right, here we are at the little glass dome. I'm pretty sure most people call this the nipple. But yes, we have to speed glitch off of this, bounce up into the air, fly through the trees, and somehow land in a grind and make it to the other side of the bridge. Guys, we have to go big. We brought back the orange pants. We have to do some huge challenges today. So, all right, let's find a good place here to set our marker. And then basically, we just have to do the speed glitch right into the nipple. I don't think that sentence has ever been said out loud before in the whole entire history of humanity. But all right, speed glitch into the nipple. Oh, we actually popped into the air, down into the ramp. Oh, wait, that's kind of sick. Oh, a little trick line? Oh, no. I have a feeling that even if we don't hit the bridge, we might actually land in some other cool spots. So this is kind of a fun challenge. You don't really know where you're going to end up. Like, in a lamppost? Oh, my God. Oh, we're getting beat up. And go. Okay. Oh, that was actually online, but I did not get enough speed. And go. Oh, that's pretty good, but we need to go more to the right. Ow! Oh, my God. Okay. Good little launch. Oh, we might actually land this. No, that was so close like this maybe okay well that did not work but oh sick little line here can we land it oh no okay oh well we'll go to the other side of the bridge oh he almost grinded the right side of the bridge we're definitely trying to go on the left side but at least we're getting somewhere oh my god oh man i just murdered that guy are you okay ah oh, he disappeared Okay, that looks good, and oh, just missed. Let me fix that real quick. Let me do my good community service here real quick, because they know that I'm about to land it right here. Oh, actually, wait, come on. No way, dude, how did that happen? That was perfect, I called it too. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my. Okay, come on, and into the grind. What the, what happened? Oh, we kind of got it, but we didn't land cleanly into the grind. Hey, but that's a pretty good start. We actually landed on the ledge first and then got into a grind. And you guys know that's not good enough, especially when we're sporting the orange pants. Yes, there we go. And pop off. Yes, there we go. That was a perfect 5-0 all the way across the bridge. All right, challenge completed. All right, guys, that was awesome. I think we should go straight to filming it because that was an awesome clip.
All right, there we go. Our first challenge complete. That was a fun one. Not sure how many challenges I've done off that nipple before. But all right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so this next challenge comes from One Eye Brian on my sub right now. This is something I've never seen before in Skate 3. So it looks like he's outside one of the DLC maps here. He comes up to this loop, all pretty normal so far. But then what? He does a crazy primo wheel grind across like the top of that quarter pipe. That is insane. Look at this one more time, guys. Have you ever seen a grind like this in Skate 3? Can you even call it a grind? It's on the wheels. It's more like a manual, maybe? I don't know what to call it. But either way, guys, we gotta try this, because this looks awesome. All right, here we are outside of the Art Gallery DLC. This is actually an entire skate park you might not have even known about. But if we come over here, you can actually see the loop that we're gonna try this challenge on. So this is crazy. Basically, we wanna roll in, do the full loop, but then somehow, like, do that wheel primo slide grind manual trick. If you know what to call this trick, let me know in the comments, guys, because I literally have no idea. But all right, we're going to start up here, and we're just going to go for it. I have no idea what the strategy is here, guys. Basically, we want to go around the loop, but we want to end up, like, oh, grinding this thing, because we need to leave the loop right when our wheels are basically getting to the top of this part. Okay. All right, we'll try flip in, get some good luck here. I think we're just going to grind this one out, guys. I might just have to experiment a little bit. Oh, okay, wait, that was actually pretty close. We actually timed it pretty well, but obviously you're not supposed to be able to grind like this, so I just fell off the board. We're gonna have to like glitch the system in order for it to allow us to skate like that. Now the real question is how do we let, how do we make the game let us actually do it? All right, let's pump up this and then, oh! Did we do it? Oh my gosh, it was so quick, I couldn't even tell. That's what she said. Wait, we gotta watch that back, because it is so fast. Like, the clip we watched is obviously in, like, super slow motion. Wait, I think we did it. Oh, but we didn't really go very far. The clip we watched, he grinded the entire ledge. That's what we need to do. But that's promising. We've gotta make it look cool, guys. This is like a brand new Skate 3 trick. All right, come on. I believe. And bang. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's probably our closest one yet. We're riding off pretty well. We're getting like a little bit of the grind, but then we're popping out. I just want to get it a little bit longer than that. Oh, yes, wait, that was sick. Oh, maybe a contender for like my worst landing ever. But wow, that grind was so hard that I will take that. And did you even catch that? It happened so fast. We made it all the way through the loop and then we ride out into the little like wheel grind all the way across. It even turned into like a, a smith almost because like the front wheel came off, but the back wheel stayed on all the way till the end. Wow, that's even different from the one we saw in the video video and then okay we, we don't have to talk about that landing all right there we go first time i've done that trick and honestly first time i've ever even seen that trick all right we gotta film that because that was sweet Wow, that was awesome. I have been working on my filming a lot, so I hope you guys have been enjoying some of these new replays. But wow, I think that looked awesome. All right, thank you for sending in that challenge. That one was sweet. All right, let's move on, guys. This next challenge is crazy, guys. It comes from Bagpiper2k on the Skate 3 subreddit. Let's watch this clip. So he's outside the memorial, does the beach ball speed glitch toward this quarter pipe, backflip coffin through the narrow gap and rides away without any ramps that is crazy and then he goes on and skates a little more to celebrate that is a crazy thread the needle i mean it's already so narrow but now we have to add a backflip to it all right here we are at the memorial where we have a bunch of these like rectangular monuments and i would not be surprised if the developers purposely made them like the exact width of your skate 3 character because that allows us to actually fit through it in a coffin or like a super dude but we have to try to flip through one of these am i going to be able to actually walk up this come on so close yes okay so i'm pretty sure this is the one we're going to try to backflip coffin through but we actually have to start up there okay so we need to put a quarter pipe here and kind of line it 
up with the rectangle thing that you can kind of see right there. I'm going to have to just kind of guess the angle for now. Basically, we need to launch off this and line it up with that. Honestly, that doesn't look too bad. And then, of course, we have to place our beach ball back here. We'll drop this bad boy down right about here. All right, let's give this a try. I don't know how it's going to go at the start because it's going to take a while, I think, to find like the exact spot. Okay, we did a flip right over it. But we can't forget, we also have to do a backflip coffin. We can't just go through it. Oh, that actually seemed lined up. All right, we're definitely on the right track here. Oh, there's the coffin. I still haven't figured out the backflip part of it yet, though. I'm getting, like, the coffin, but not the backflip. Okay. Yes. Oh, there's the coffin backflip. Oh, who went way too high? The hard part is riding off the ramp, like, perfectly sideways. Oh, my gosh, that could have been it. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that was our closest try yet. Oh my gosh, it's right there. Yep. Yes! No, I knew we went too far. Oh, we can't land down here. We have to land in the slope if we want to ride away. Oh, but at least we made it through. Ooh. Oh, we bounced off it. Oh. All right, that was cool, but we need to get one where we make it through clean. Yes! Oh my gosh! How did we not land that, dude? That was perfect in every way. Oh, just went a tiny bit too far. Yes! Yes! There we go! We finally got the landing! Woo! That was awesome! Backflip! coffin thread the needle consider it completed that one was really tough to get just right guys but all right let's film that let's see how it looks all right perfect landing perfect roll away that's what i'm talking about that's what you like to see out of a narrow gap challenge right there making it perfectly through without touching anything all right let's move on to our final challenge all right guys this last challenge is a huge one it comes from leo the king gaming let's watch this clip he's at the quarry does the speed glitch goes flying off the stone quarter pipe all the way across the quarry and somehow lands perfectly on that like stone bank that is awesome. All right, that is just a giant speed glitch gap challenge. So let's head to the quarry. All right, here we are at the quarry, and I honestly cannot think of a more fitting way to end this orange pants video than with a giant speed glitch gap. Like, you know, no grinds, no narrow gaps. This is just a good old-fashioned speed glitch gap. So basically, we have to launch ourselves off of this giant stone quarter pipe across the entire quarry and land over there without placing any ramp. That might be the most impressive part of this entire challenge. I like to call these huck it challenges because basically you do the speed glitch, then you just huck it and try to make it as far as you can. But all right, the hard part about this one is going to be having enough speed and then finding the right launch angle. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh my gosh, we actually almost made it like second try. I think we're going to have to go a little bit more to the right though like that. Oh no, I'm not. That is definitely not lined up. I'm going straight for the water tower. Oh no. And this is actually a huge gap, which means your like launch angle is extra important because if you're off by just like an inch at the start, it actually sends you like way off in the end. So we need to just find, like, the perfect angle for this. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's a lot of speed. Good launch. Oh, I think we went too far to the right again. But we are actually getting a... Oh! I, <laughs> I somehow landed. I was not expecting to land that. That was kind of cool, but we definitely want to land here on this slope for it to count. Well, at least we landed somewhere. But I would like to land right in that, like, natural stone bank. Because that would be so cool. Oh, that was actually really close. Okay, that's a lot of speed. Let's launch off this way. Oh, that could be it. Nope, we're going too far to the left. I thought we had it, but clearly we're going right into the bush. <laughs> and go. Okay, looking good. Let's launch off. Oh, that looks good. Wait, are we going to land this one? Oh, no, I think we're just short. Okay. And cut back to the right. Oh, my gosh. Wait, that might be it. <sighs> Come on. No, that was so close. Definitely our closest try yet. Ooh, that looks good. Come on. That's got to be it. Finger flip. Bang! Let's go. That was perfect. Oh, we're still going. Oh, my gosh. Full oh, keep the light alive and straight into the chimney. Let's go. That's how we end this video, baby. Oh, that was awesome. All right. Huge Corey gap and somehow kept the line alive there. That was sick. All right. Let's film this and we'll send us off. All 
right, that was a sweet clip. Oh, and there I go, straight into the chimney. <laughs> well, all right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Once again, big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. You can use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use code POGZECMAY16 to get 16 free meals and free shipping. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, stay sexy. See you guys.